Hi everybody, it's Suzanne, um, and I am opening my second Neo Blythe, uh, Chikara Blythe that I just got this week, um, although the two Blythe dolls that I just bought um, from eBay are both um, older dolls, and they're both used. Um, and in my last video, which I um, am going to um, post on this so you can see it too, um, add it to, so you can look at it, um, I actually opened up a beautiful velvet minuet, and she is so pretty, and I was so excited. I ordered her after I ordered this one right here, and I got them today on Friday, November the 12th of 2021, the same day. I ordered um, them, I guess, a day, after, two days actually apart. I, I was really shocked at how quickly she came, um, and both of them um, I'm just so excited about. So, so without um, any further ado, I went ahead and opened the outside of the box so that the addresses and everything were gone. But um, this is a rosy red. Now she's supposed to be an SBL according to the person I bought her from on eBay. Um, she came with her actual original box. I don't know if she's ever been opened or not. I haven't, I haven't looked at that. Um, the uh, one that I opened earlier, the menuet, she was um, packaged so, so sweetly, but she obviously does not have her original box, and that's okay, because uh, you know what? I'm a touchy-feely doll person, and I can't keep them in their original boxes in the first place. So, um, this is packaged very, very nicely. It had... Somewhere on there, um, it says special, special handling, uh, fragile. So um, the seller uh, spent the time uh, to make sure that it was going to get to me safely. And um, so she or has some, and, and she wrote to me and she was so delightful. And uh, I was so excited that I'd bought her and had said how she thought that um, people who are in the Blythe um, hobby how kind they are and we had we actually talked back and forth a few times and, and just kind of enjoying each other and uh talking about uh buy dolls and i really enjoyed that so it made me really excited and so to say that you know i saw at work today I, I, I noticed that they had both arrived i was like oh i have to get home so anyway without further ado let us open up our package. Oh my goodness, I, I teach preschool, so I was about to say friends. Friends, look at this. Well, friends, look at this. Oh, look, you know, it's, uh, it has been open. She, she's not and never removed from box um, doll. I do have one um, that I, is a, um, a Ashton Drake Gallery Lounging Lovely. And it was never re um, moved from box. It was my very first official Blythe doll that was not the one that I, the Kenner that I had when I was a child. But you now, if you'd want to hear that story, I, I mentioned it in the last video. Um, but I've been collecting the um, fake dolls and um, the clone dolls. And I love them. They have their own little specialness to them, if you ask me. But these are my very, very first two Takara Blythe. So, uh, official Blythe. So, I am very, very excited. And also, she has, I think she's supposed to be a superior Blythe. Um, I'm not positive what the um, Velvet Minuet, which uh, face mold she is. So, you know, when I'm going to do some comparison, uh, comparison, comparison, boy, I don't know why I couldn't get that out, um, of their faces. So, so here, just so you can see that beautiful face, um, and I think she's 2003. I'll have to look back and, and find out. Um, it looks like the ro rosy red encore is what she is. So, she's not the 
one that was the original Rosie Red that was in 2001. She's the Encore. She was also a special Korean. No, no, she's the Korean. The other one was the Korean. So she's the, that's why she's the SBL. Okay, and as if you look at her box, you can kind of see that there's this cute little window, and of course there's that the fun, um, really funky 1970s vibe that um, that she has, you know, and with the little windows here, there's on both sides. Um, she looks like she has been bubble wrapped very well on the inside, and so it says uh, rosy red encore, um, Blythe Takara. And I'm assuming it's Takara, not Takara. It's a uh, Blythe that's trademark of Hasbro, 2006 Hasbro. Okay. All rights reserved. Blythe character rights are licensed in, licensed in Asia to Cross World Connections Limited, manufactured and distributed by Takara Company. All right. So I have been hearing lately, and it could be a rumor, I don't know, that maybe back in this past July that after the 20th anniversary of um, the Takara Blythes that Hasbro is going to have a different manufacturer create Blythe dolls. So these, you know, are even, probably gonna be even more expensive, I think, because you can't, you're not going to be able to get even Takara Blythes anymore. Um, it's gonna be interesting. And with all the craziness of trying to get things from Japan right now or from Asia in general, um, it's just really hard. I, I have some dolls on order from AliExpress that are, have, are already a, a two weeks late. Um, and that they, they shipped long before all these problems happened with uh, all of these ships being stuck in the harbor in, in um, California. Um, so, <laughs> so, um, you know, it's it's uh, it's kind of really terrible, really. Um, we'll have to see what happens. Um, it could make a big dent in uh, um, this uh, this hobby of ours. So anyway, well, I don't know. I'm just making a comment. Um, so here's that beautiful box, and it is a little crushed, but it's been around since 2000 and what did I say it was 2003, 2006. Been around for a while, so. You know, and it, for it to be in that great a condition, I think that's wonderful. And here she is, friends. Oh, there I go again. Yeah, here she is. Um, oh, she's so... Hmm, she does have a weird smell. No, oh, it just smells like she's been in a box. She does smell like she's... Oh, but my goodness, what a face. Okay, so we have her official stand. And so this is one of those stands that allows you to, I think, uh, have her standing up and it kind of disappears, maybe. Um, I've seen those in pictures, but I've never seen one in real life. Um, and uh, it's black and chrome. I assume that's what that is. That's, that's very interesting. Oh, that's, nope, I'm wrong. It has the, here's the base. Okay, so it did come in two different things. So I guess I'll have to remember to try and keep those, um, all of these little pieces of plastic. Uh, but, you know, I'm not planning personally to sell her anytime soon. So um, I am planning to have her in my display case. Oh, she hasn't been taken out of the, she's attached, friend, everyone. I'm such a pre-K teacher, it's ridiculous. Okay, um, so, but she's been, some things have come out. So, because these this is definitely not an original um, Ziploc bag, I wouldn't think. Uh, okay, so what is, oh, she has a stole. <laughs> oh, she, and it says R on it. Oh my gosh, can you see that? It's so cute. It's, um... It's fake fur. It's a fur mink stole, like the 1950s. My mother had one of those. I still, I actually have one that belonged to my ex-husband's grandmother um, that uh, I would never wear. But still, it's it's uh, very important to me. So that's very interesting. 
Um, let's see, my low power mode is coming on, so let me, I thought I had this clicked in, but apparently I did not. Okay, did that help? I hope it did. All right, so she is attached by something. Oh, she has, she's attached here, and I just had some things fall out. So let's see, we have, um, oh, some hair clips, and they are hearts. Little heart hair clips. Um, those are cute. And uh, yeah, she's uh, red and black. Everything in this is red, oh, including her very, very fancy red and black purse. It's so cute. Um, makes me think of like the Spanish lady or who was gonna do the maracas or whatever those are called. This is what I think of. And oh, she has slip on little high heels that are very cute. And I am missing somewhere. I just lost one of her, her little, oh no, her stock. She has two red stockings that I don't know exactly why you would have sock stockings. There's stock, sock stockings. Seems a little bizarre, in my opinion, to wear stockings that are socks with little pointy, little pointy shoes that are slip-ons. Um, I don't know the fashion sense in that one, but anyway, that's what she has. Oh, she has her very own comb, which is so very securely attached to this. I don't even know I'm going to take that out. In fact, I think I am not. I'm just going to do this. I can use something else other than that comb to comb her hair. And I'll try and keep this box as nicely um, neat as I can. Um, and she does, she is attached here at the bottom. And she has a little card that I can't get to. I don't know how to get to that. Uh, without messing up this box. So between the the uh, comb and that, I guess I'll never know what it says because I don't think I'll be doing anything with that. But now to her. Oh, wow. Yeah, she does have a very, that, um, that Spanish lady, um, you know, look like she's going to start, start doing the dance. Um, I'm not sure if that's what she was supposed to be like. But man, is she beautiful. Wow. What a pretty face. Let's see. All right, so this is the SBL, and I don't know. Yeah, there's definitely some differences. Um, so subtle. It's hard to really tell, but they are so beautiful. And, you know, it's so interesting that they can be the same doll and look completely different just because of their hair and which her hair is also kind of funky. So I wonder why Takara Blythe dolls have such kind of like, it's, it's weird, it's a weird feeling. I don't, I don't know what that is, but okay. She does not have earrings. So this must've been before the earrings had started. Uh, she also is a, she's a 2003, it says, is what her face mold is 2003, even though she may have been a 2006 um, edition. So um, that's interesting. I am going to take her little skirt down and look at her um, leotard because apparently this red creates some... Um, problems and has left some coloring on these dolls. Um, I don't see it as being a big problem, but maybe she may not stay in her red outfit. Um, I was saying in a, the previous video, I am thinking about um, taking this, the pattern sets in this book, Darling Blythe um, by CWC Books. Definitely no, it's, it's cute. Uh, it's It's got a lot of different pictures, and one of these dolls goes on a little princess thing where she goes through and meets other ones, and then there's this absolutely cute, cute, cute cape. That's 
precious. But mainly, I think what I like about it is at the end, we have patterns. So I'm gonna teach myself to sew. I'll, I'll make some videos of that too, um, because I think that that is something that if you like, if you're a doll collector, I mean, it's nice to be able, they're very expensive. I've been looking at some really beautiful things on Etsy and um, even uh, the seller who um, I told you we had spoken back and forth, she mentioned to me that um, vintage skipper uh, clothes would fit this doll. And I believe she has this, maybe she does not have the original Leica body or Leica or whatever you pronounce that as. And she doesn't have a lot of staining. Um, there are some little somethings on her back. Um, hard to see, but some, some line, a line here and a line there. Um, it says Blyde trademark. The body is a 2002 Hasbro CWC Takara China, and the head plate is 2003. So, without further ado, and this is what her body looks like, um, which to me reminds me of what an original, you know, Blythe doll looked like. Um, she, of course, does this. Uh, she does have knees that work. That's nice. Um, okay, she does bend a little bit. That's kind of kind of hard. She does have kind of a down look too. Not quite as far down as the velvet minuet. Okay, and then she has pink. Okay, I'm gonna move that over so we can see a little better. Her eyes are pink. I do like her red lips. I think she has really pretty lips. Okay, I love, there's something about Takara um, blue eyes. I, I mean, just the, the blue eyes. I, you know, I, in a way, I wish I had like eye chips that were the same color in every expression. That's one thing I'm not really quite sure I really ever liked about Blythe. And I never have liked the orange eyes, I must admit. They're, they're not my favorite. And th with them facing forward, it's kind of a little depressing. But then she, of course, had, like, she came with the green side facing. Um, I love the green. I love the blue. And really, I would love it if we had real brown eyes. But I would never change these dolls. These dolls, to me, are going to stay just the way they came. The only thing would I would do any differently would be to, um, I may clean her hair because her hair is very straight. It's thick, she has a lot of hair, but it does have a weird greasiness. I mean, people have been saying that and I had no idea until I felt it myself what that really meant. But you know what, there is something, I think this is what it is. And if you're a mother, <laughs> I mean, I understand, I totally understand how these mothers and people can get so involved in those, um, those reborn baby dolls. Oh, my goodness, they feel like real babies. But I don't, I'm not a collector. But I have see, been to a doll show and I have seen, I have seen that in action. Wow, that's crazy. These uh, ladies and these pushing carts and having, um, you know, strollers and they have them in little things and they look, I put them in their car seats. Those babies, I mean, I held one that was $6,000 and it was, uh, the, the woman who created it was sitting right beside me and that baby felt like a baby. Oh my gosh. It was so, so sweet. And being a mother, I mean, it's, you know, my, my be youngest baby's 15. <laughs> but there is something, while I'm saying this, it's about, it's about their heads. You know, of course, that body is, um, you know, I guess a fashion doll. And it was supposed to be kind of like a Barbie or something like that. Um, and I would say she's not a little girl, obviously. She, she does have, she's a young woman. Um, but... There's something about that head that just makes you feel kind of like, it's like about the size of a newborn. A little smaller, of course, so it's thinner. But the, the that right there, I mean, it just, the, I think that might be something about Blythe that I really love. I, I, 
maybe somebody could you could tell me what you think in in the comments um but i know she doesn't have her clothes on right now i'm gonna just uh and, oh look it does have an underskirt and then that overskirt uh yeah she just looks like um the spanish lady i, I guess that's what i want to call her <laughs> but she's so beautiful um and I, I know I can't think of the name of the dance right now, but um, but I uh, I really I do like her, and um, and I like her I like her stock, um, but I think I'm gonna put her in something else just because mainly it's not because I don't like the 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 look of the um, ah you're gonna tell me in the comments I know um, I just can't think of it right now. While I'm being, while I'm filming, and I, you know what I know, we both know they they have the castanets and and all of that, and and they do that beautiful dance, flamenco dancer. Ugh. Sorry, <laughs> but uh, and look at that. Ooh, how fancy she is! But look at that face. Uh, you know, and it's also I love how wide her face. Hello growing up people would take my cheeks and pinch them and all that stuff um so she really did remind me of me I mean I I think that's why I love them too and and you know so many people they can look just like them um not just dark-headed ones but every they're they they have so many personalities and they have they can be so much like the collector, I think. Uh, they can be a mini-me to uh, so many different people. And even with the ones that are being um, created now, where they're changing them into boys. I mean, it's there's just so much, so many places and so many things that you can do to be a, um, a blind doll collector. And I'm so glad I started this, and I'm so glad I'm in this hobby, and I do hope that I find my Kenner um, one day. <laughs> and one day, uh, Kenners are probably going to be like the ones I really am going to try and collect. But as I said, I'm going to try and do a few um, videos comparing the um, Ashton Drake galleries with the traditional to Kara's and and I'll try and find out a little bit more about their face plates and which one you know she looks almost more like an RBL there excuse me um I don't know I don't know when when those all started but I mean she has a more of a little girl look to her and I think maybe it's even the clothes that she's wearing and the fact that she has a teddy bear um and she she's a woman she is a young woman and you know i think that's what i really like about her i i know some people really love the little baby look and maybe in some of there are some that i've seen that oh so cute where they've carved their little mouths and their little puckery little mouths but no uh, to me the it's it's the young woman to me that is blithe and i just absolutely love that so um i hope you enjoyed um uh, seeing these uh openings today because i know i have <laughs> very excited and um i will when you know probably later this weekend take some time and um, do some comparison videos uh and get those up because um well now she gets to have on a little something something <laughs> oh wait where are her little shoes let's see what her shoes look like on. Now that I didn't don't have on all of her other things. Um but oh look at those. Aren't they cute? And she bends. She bends kind of weirdly. I guess she's just just who she is. But and that's another thing, they each have their own personality, don't they? But it is, there's just something I just ah, I can't help it. So uh thanks for visiting. Thanks for coming and visiting, and um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I know I don't talk a lot in my videos, and you can tell me what you think. Um, I used to say a lot of ums, and I probably still do, and I'll take a little more time and try not to say quite so many ums. As you can see, I'm not makeup lady. Um, 
Um, and I probably never will be, but that's okay. That's just who I am. I'm, you know, middle-aged woman these days, so uh, I'm not trying to be a fashionista myself. And I just wanted to um, show you the things that I enjoy making and show you the things that I've enjoyed collecting. And uh, so I I hope that, that you enjoy my videos and I hope that you come and visit me more often and uh, thanks a lot. I'll see you later on the next one.